Hi guys, Ajay here. So this is just a quick tutorial to kind of explain how web work works. Okay, so first, if you go into your layout under important documents, we have the web work link. You also should have an MIO with that web work link. Um, however you get it, click on the link. It will send you to web work. Oh, I'm already signed in. Then you'll sign in. Remember that your, your name, your username, and your password, both are your student ID. So you'll plug in student ID for username and then student ID for your password. Once you're in, you should have a list of homeworks assigned to you. You will not have it nearly as many as I have. You should probably have one or two. Towards the end of the semester, you'll have a few more. So then you'll click on the homework that's assigned to you that you're trying to do. Um, and you have a couple options. Down here, you can click download PDF or tech hard copy. You'll click, you'll click generate the hard copy for students. For you, that will just be for yourself. And it will give you a document that you can print out that has all of the questions on it. So this way you can easily look at and do the questions when you don't have access to the internet. So then after that, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna click Cal 1 homework one over here on your homework. Um, alternatively, and this you will eventually have to do, you can just click on problem. So I'll click problem one, it gives me the problem. And then there is a space down here where I can enter my answers. So I'm just going to enter something random here. Let's say that I want to think the answer is x squared plus 2. So I'm going to enter x squared plus 2. Now, web work, it's sometimes challenging to plug things in. A lot of times you think you've plugged in an answer, but you've actually plugged in something different. So I recommend using this preview my answers button. So we'll click preview my answers. And here on the left side, it will tell you what you have entered. So that's x squared plus two. And on the right side, it will show you mathematically what you have entered. So what, in other words, what Weber thinks you have entered. And this is useful because it helps you to see whether or not you've actually plugged in what you think you've plugged in. Okay, so then I don't think the answer to this is x squared plus two, maybe I think it's eight. So then once I put in the answer that I think is the correct answer, I previewed my answer, I see, oh, hey, yes, Weber does indeed recognize that I plugged in eight. I click on submit answer. Oh no, it's incorrect. So I can try this as many times as I want um, until I get the right answer, unless, unless I have a limited number of attempts. So you can look here and it will tell you how many attempts you have tried. So I've tried this problem two times. It will also tell you how many attempts you have remaining. So this says unlimited, which means I can try over and over and over again until I get the right answer. Pay attention because sometimes you will only have two or three attempts depending on the type of problem. Also, in multi-part problems, it will tell you what your score is that you have received. So sometimes it won't tell you like this, whether like it'll just say all are incorrect when maybe part of it is correct. So looking down here can tell you, oh, hey, look, I actually have 80%. I've actually done some of this problem correctly. Okay, so. Next, when you want to go on to the next problem, you can click next problem and that will bring you to the next problem. If you submitted the previous one and got it right, it'll show up in green and you're done. You have nothing more to do. So then you move on to the next problem. Or maybe you're like, you know what? I want to skip this problem. I actually remember problem 13 I saw was one that I wanted to work on. So you can go down over to this left side where you have the list of problems and click on an individual problem to get there. Um, this line right here will also tell you the progress that you've made, so how far along you are. When it's 100% green, that means you have 100% on the assignment. Okay, so. So after this, let's go back to web work. Like I said, I mean to Leia. Like I said, it's sometimes a little bit challenging to plug things into web work. So you have this document right here under important documents called web work instructions. And if we click on that, it will download a PDF for us. Do, 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 give it a second. And it kind of gives you some instructions about how to get started with web work, which we just went through. But also it gives you tips for answering answers into web work. So it goes through and tells you how to enter things like square roots, fractions, talks about the preview my answer button like we just talked about, tells you how to enter pi, um, gives you lots of information about how to plug different things into web work. So anytime you're unsure about, oh, how do I put pi in? How do I put e in? You can always look at the sheet and it will give you good information um, on how to plug things in. So definitely a useful resource. 
Um, all right, and that is all. That's web work. Uh, hopefully it's helped. Bye guys. Good to do. Bye.